you can find inspiration in anything. My dad was really helpful to me because I, when I was 11, he bought me my first camera, a Kodak Retinet. The 36 exposures were very, very precious, so you had to really think about the picture. And I think I just trained my eyes to look and see. I find that weaving around on the bike really, really works because you've got the opportunity to stop really quickly, take a picture. If you can train your mind just to look and see, you'll find things anywhere. The thing about art palette, for somebody who's, who loves colour, like me, it's just so useful to look through a whole collection of paintings or photography or anything where people have used certain colours together. I can't believe the enormous selection of artwork which is available, and that's really helpful. I use colour mostly as a punctuation mark. The art of colour was really essential for me because I was designing clothes which is so simple that you needed the surprise and you needed the colour. Henry Matisse was another person who worked a lot in colour and he was absolutely genius at putting colours together. So you put blue and white together and they look fresh. You put orange and red together, they fight. My approach is, oh, I, I saw a great painting and I just love the colours in it. So I just took the colours and then that became this one, which we call the artist tribe. And that came just by looking at a painting at the Tate Modern. As a fashion designer, Art Palette can help me working with my staff. So what we'd probably do is start off with the colours that I've selected for that season and then through the app just look at those colours and then see what gets thrown up. That can be so influenced on how we design. The thing is about finding inspiration in the world today is, is looking and seeing. It's all there if you want it. You've just got to train your eyes to see it.